Ash from Super Videos back for another video for The Last of Us on HBO. On this video, we're going to be taking a look at moments from the video game that I as a fan and most likely many other fans are looking forward to in the TV adaptation. So stay tuned. We'll be right back to look at all of these moments from the video game. Alright, as always, before we jump into this, if you are not a subscriber and enjoy the content by the end, consider subscribing to join our community, share and smash the like button and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. For those of you that don't know, we are heavily covering not just The Last of Us on HBO, but also a lot of behind the scenes photos and clips from filming up the show. So if you're interested in that and want to be caught up with everything that's coming out when it comes to the last of us on hbo make sure to not only subscribe but press the bell to be notified when i upload a last of us video with that said let's dive right in now even though i'm saying moments from the video game that i'm most looking forward to it's not just about the moments it's also about some of the general characteristics and plot points in the story the prologue and Joel and his daughter's backstory. Now this is something that they are definitely doing based on the first initial behind the scenes photo that was released. So we know that the backstory that happens in the prologue between Joel and his daughter Sarah is something they're definitely doing in the TV version and I think others would agree with me on this. The prologue is what sets the mood and it's something that immerses you into the story from the get-go and I think eliminating this part in the story not only takes away from Joel's backstory and why he's like he is when we see him 20 years into the future but also it robs fans of a great moment in the story in the video game that got many fans to fall in love with the game in the first place Ellie's sense of humor now this is one of the things where it's not really a moment it's several moments the ability to bring to life Ellie's sense of humor and her charisma now obviously it's not going to be quite the same because it's not the same actress that voiced Ellie in the video game. Obviously, Bella Ramsey is the actress that's going to be portraying Ellie. What I hope they are able to capture is bringing to the TV adaptation Ellie's sense of humor and her charisma. Something that I think was extremely critical in making fans fall in love with this character and follow her journey because at the end of the day the last of us is about ellie as much as we love joel this story really centers around ellie so if they don't get the characteristics and the side of ellie that we all love from the video game right in the tv adaptation they're in trouble but i'm definitely certain that they are going to be able to do this properly and we are going to get the best version of Ellie possible in the TV adaptation. Joel as a hardened survivor and his characteristics. This is also something that is extremely important in telling the story as it happened in the video game because if you think about it, Ellie and Joel are on opposite ends of the spectrum when we look at their characteristic. As much as Ellie is a very joyful charismatic character with a sense of humor joel is a very rigid hardened survivor who doesn't really show emotion as much so i think one of the other very critical aspects to the story that they must get right is to portray the different sides of joel in the tv version but be very subtle about it just like they were able to do in the video game. Now, obviously, we know Pedro Pascal is portraying the role of Joel, so only time will tell if Pedro Pascal is able to bring to life the Joel that we all fell in love with in the video game. Now, as much as I would love them to do the exact same thing as they did in the video game when it comes to who Joel is and why he's the way he is, I definitely think that we should not be surprised to see a few changes 
when it comes to Joel's character and what type of a survivor he is. However, whatever the change, I just hope that it's not out of character for him and it's something that adds to his character rather than take away from his character based on the video game. The introduction of Henry and Sam. Now the other two characters that are extremely critical in the story in my opinion are Henry and Sam. And it's not just about the characters themselves, it's about the dynamic of Henry and Sam and Joel and Ellie and the similarities between them and how they are able to very organically build this very strong complex relationship between these four characters that leads to that final very very emotional scene between these four characters. Now even though we haven't got any casting confirmation for the roles of Henry and Sam, I think it would be extremely odd for them to not bring these two characters in. So I think that they are definitely bringing them in and I hope that they are able to portray the relationship between these four characters the way that they were able to do in the video game and they're able to kind of showcase this strong complex relationship between not just Joel and Henry but also Ellie and Sam as well. Post-apocalyptic environment. Now this is something that I think we should not worry about if the behind the scenes photos and clips so far are any sign. I think when it comes to the environment and being able to showcase the post-apocalyptic environment and immerse us into that environment, they are definitely not shying away from replicating the exact same scenery and look from the video game. So I think that's definitely not something that we should worry about. But there's definitely two moments that I would love to see. One is the scene between Joel and Ellie when they're looking into the city, the post-apocalyptic city, where they see the giraffes and where they talk about the new life that they're living in and they pet the giraffes. And the reason for that is because it showcases the contrast between death and life because obviously they are living in a new world where death is around the corner but even in the middle of all of that chaos and brutality and death there's still beautiful things in the world there's still life in the world and i think that contrast is something that they were able to showcase amazingly in this particular scene so this is definitely something else that i am looking forward to in the tv version joel's injury now this is something else that i doubt they're gonna change because it's so huge in the story but the story revolving around Joel's injury, Ellie's fight for survival in the winter period is something that I think is extremely important in the game because it not only showcases that like I said earlier this is not about Joel this is Ellie's story so it's definitely a very interesting and clever way for them to show us how strong of a fighter and survivor Ellie really is and also showcase her relationship at this part in the game with Joel and how much she really cares for him. The fireflies and the sad reveal about Ellie. Now this is also something that is so important in the game that I doubt they're gonna change. One of the key things I think they need to do when it comes to the fireflies is not just that this group exists but also showcase the important role that this group plays and build it up such that when we get to that big reveal at the end of the first game the audience is devastated. Now you could still do that without doing much with the fireflies and fleshing out their group as much as they should but I think it would be a better reward for them to build the fireflies and show their importance in the right way so that when we get to that final moment in the game the fans feel the impact. Now this is something that they did more in the second game than the first game so I think that when it comes to the TV version they could definitely take away from some of the story that they told in the second game to flesh out the fireflies even more to have that final moment with Ellie 
be even more impactful and more emotional. Now with that said, I don't think it's a good idea to introduce Abby and kind of tell that part of the story yet, but I do think that maybe certain Easter eggs or certain subtle moments would do a lot in kind of helping us get ready for that story. But aside from that, I think there's definitely other parts from the second game when it comes to the Fireflies that don't necessarily revolve around Abby herself, but are important in exploring the motivations of the Fireflies and why they're as important as they are. But that's pretty much everything that I wanted to go through in this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to share and smash the like button. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe to join our community and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.